Hey Capricorn, this is going to be a bonus reading to see what's going on with your person right now, okay? What are their current feelings and situation in regards to you and what is their current intentions, okay? If you're returning to my channel, welcome back. Thank you for supporting me. Your support helps me grow. It's helping me to connect as many of you as possible. Okay, so if the reading resonates, with, please continue to like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right, please note that I actually posted a Capricorn reading last night. I was completely out of it, but um, I, all the same, I hope the message is still received. It was late when I posted it. Okay, it's in the morning time now in NYC. If you're new here, welcome as well. Perhaps you're led to me because Spirit has messages for you. Okay, so again, if reading resonates, please make sure to just press that like button. Completely free to you, priceless to me, and it lets me know that you want more of these videos. All right? So, um, cross watches, you are welcome here. Keep in mind the roles may be reversed. You may flip the messages as needed if necessary. Never force the reading. If it's your reading, the messages will be fluid. Do not force it, guys. Okay? Keep in mind, time is fluid. Anytime you press play on this video is the time for you to receive the messages, all right? So what we're going to do, Capricorn, is we're going to start by pulling your mutual energy, the mutual energy between you and the person you're connecting with that we've been inquiring about. All right, so Spirit, please show me the mutual energy for Capricorn, between Capricorn and their person. What is the current mutual energy? Show me the current mutual energy for Capricorn. Person. Okay, I have the Ten of Pentacles reversed. I feel like there were some huge losses in this connection, okay? Could be emotional, could be financial with the Pentacles, right? And you both usually agree with that, okay? Perhaps you or your person, you know, there's a financial issue. And, you know, perhaps your person has the financial issue, financial problems. And you were invested in that person financially. And you both took a hit. Okay, we're gonna pull the cards to find out what's going on. Okay, um, Spirit, please show me the messages for Capricorn. What's currently going on with their person? What's the current situation and feelings for Capricorn? I'm gonna start with the current situation. Show me more for Capricorn, please. Mm -hmm. I feel like this. Your person's current situation is they're trying to come together with someone financially. There is a situation with money. It involves, I'm strongly getting that it involves an ex, okay? And this person is neglecting their own responsibilities financially, and they are expecting your person to pick that up for them, okay? Um, I feel like your person has a child or children with this person, very specific, okay? And they're frustrated because this person, you know, they, they can't come together in regards to um, the financial obligations that they both have. I'm getting co-parenting. Okay. And I also feel that there's a um, there's a matter of wants here. Why is this matter of wants here? I feel like your person wants to come in. I feel like there's a lot of passion between you and your person. Spirit, please show me the message for Capricorn. Please clarify the matter of wants. Moon reverse. That's Pisces energy. Your person wants to come forward to you, okay, in regards to the situation, because I feel like you wasn't completely aware of why your person was resisting you, okay? And keep in mind, because I didn't say this at the beginning of the reading, this is for those of you who are in separation from your person, okay? And I should have said that in the beginning. This is, it's going to say this when I post the video, 
If you're not in separation with your person at this time, then this is not your reading. You can always go back to my playlist and resort to the most recent Capricorn reading that I just posted last night. That may be your reading, okay? But this person wants to come forward to you and they want to come in fast with to you. You guys have a very passionate connection, okay? This person understands that you may resist them, but they like a challenge. It kind of turns them on, okay? But they want to come forward. They want to let you know because their, their behavior was self-deception, you know, pushing you away, shutting you out, not letting you know what was going on, if there was an issue with an ex. I feel like you might have even been somewhat aware, but we'll pull the cards to find out. You may have known a little bit of what was going on, but this person, the reason why they were resisting you is because of this issue with this ex, this financial issue. It could be child support, okay? And they're having a hard time coming together with this person. All right? So, this person will want, you know, does they want to come to you with the truth, okay? They, they want to release the fear of, you know, letting you know what is happening. So, again, the, the mutual energy is you know, money. So you recognize your, your, your person had a money issue. You knew this Capricorn and um, your person does, but you, I don't feel like you knew the extent of what was causing this problem because they were keeping it under wraps, right? So please show me, show me Capricorn's person's current feelings for Capricorn. What is their current feelings? Oh, those. Show me more, please, the Capricorn. Wow. Wow. Show me more. Wow, Capricorn, I love this for you. Um, I got the Six of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles, okay? With all these cups and pentacles, you can absolutely be connecting with um, earth sign, you know, an, another Capricorn, a Taurus or a Virgo, or um, I'm sorry, another. You can also be connecting with a Cancer Scorpio or a Pisces, okay? Because there's a lot of cups and, and pentacles here, okay? So it could be water, it could be earth, or it could be somebody that has that in their chart, all right? But what I'm getting is your person, they want to come in again. They want to, they want to, there's a love offer here with this King of Cups. I mean, this Knight of Cups. Um, they want to come in. I get the energy of taking action, following their heart. You are someone they have a history with, with the Six of Cups. They want a reunion with you. For some of you, you knew this person for many, many years. Like, it, it could even go as far back as childhood. You know, being raised in the same neighborhood, going to the same schools, your family knows their family, that kind of thing. But this person wants to a reunion with you and they wanna, they wanna come to you with a love offer. They see you as very independent. You know, you're very stable, you're abundant. Um, you have your shit together, you're very mature, you're everything that they desire as far as stability goes. And they see you as someone that doesn't need them, but wants them. They feel like um, you really take care of yourself, you hold them yourself down, okay? And that's the thing, this person has these issues, and that was one of the reasons why this person was resistant, and they didn't want to come to you about what was going on with them. You know, there's some embarrassment there, there's some inadequacy, of feeling like they wasn't enough for you, or they're not enough for you. But this person realized that what they're doing to themselves is uh, is self-sabotaging, is self-deceptive. So they want to come to you um, with the truth, okay? They want a reunion with you. That's their current feelings. So Spirit, please show me Capricorn's person's current intentions. What is their intentions? What is their intentions? Wow, okay. I asked for three, I got four. Okay. So your person, let me tell you, I have the Eight of Cups, I got the Five of Swords reversed, the King of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. 
your person recognizes they've ghosted you. They've abandoned this connection. They have a history, I feel, with this Knight of Swords of in and out, in and out with you. Like, they stonewall or they get closed off. Or, you know, when um, this person has issues opening up, they're not really too comfortable being vulnerable. So if they feel like their back is against the wall, they shut down or they, they, they remove themselves. They're not comfortable with any conflict. And I'm not saying that you are someone who's combative. It's just that there's some issues there in the past. There's some sort of trauma that might have taken place in the past that forces this person to feel like they want to retreat when something happens between you guys. It's not healthy. I'm not giving, the, you know, this is not an excuse for their behavior. This is just an explanation, okay? So this person recognizes, you know, they, they've abandoned this connection and now they just, um, their current intention is to resolve. With this five of swords reverse, they want a peaceful resolution. They want to compromise with you. They want to communicate. They want to end this conflict that you guys have. With this king of pentacles, king of pentacles, this person wants to show you that they can offer you security as well. But keep in mind, they are in fact preoccupied with, with you know, financial matters. They are, there's an issue here. There's an issue that needs to be resolved with this ex, okay? Um, but they also wanna be financially secure for you. You know, they see that you're financially stable, they wanna mirror that, okay? So, um, show me Capricorn's current feelings for their person, please. What's Capricorn's current feelings for this person? Before I do that, I'm going to ask for the breakdown. What was the breakdown in this connection? Okay. Show me more the breakdown in this connection. Okay. Show me more for the breakdown. All right, so for the breakdown, I got the Six of Pentacles, the Emperor, Aries Energy, and the Page of Wands Reverse. So the breakdown of this connection is that, you know, you wanted someone, you're a given person, Capricorn. You're very generous, okay? You're very given, you're very sensitive, you're very kind, very supportive, and you want to be valued by your person because you value your person. So you expected your person to reciprocate, okay? Um, you needed reciprocity in this connection. You need a stability. You know, this person wants to be stability for you, but they weren't able to. They recognized that they were being very insensitive to that. And they were they were hurting you, they were acting out because they couldn't offer you the stability that you require. And you know, the stability that a connection needs to build on, okay? Um therefore, because that wasn't happening, there was not though there was no reciprocation and there wasn't no stability. Then this, 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 the insensitive, the, ins the insensitivity from your person about these issues, knowing that this is what it takes for any, any healthy relationship. There has to be reciprocation. There has to be stability in order for it to thrive. Okay, so your person know that and didn't offer you that. So that caused a breakdown in this connection. But the thing was, they wasn't able to. But they, I do get that there was also some selfish energy here, okay? But at the same time, your person wasn't upfront about what it is they couldn't offer you. As far as stability, they didn't feel they didn't feel stable either. But instead of being honest with you about that, they were being very sensitive to that. With the two of pentacles reversed, they had very they made very bad financial decisions at some time. There was like there was a lack of balance coming from your person. You two can't get on the same page. There was not a give and take. So that caused this relationship to deteriorate. So spirit, please, show, but again, your person had financial obligations. They wasn't being upfront with you about it. You know, uh, spirit, please show me Capricorn's feelings currently towards their person. What are your feelings? Show me Capricorn feelings for that person. Okay. 
Okay, I got the King of Wands, the Five of Pentacles reversed, and the Eight of Wands. Okay. Um, there was a lot of frustration in this connection between you and your person financially. Okay. There's a lot of adversities because of what your person was going through. But you know, you person you and your person are separation now. And therefore the 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 faith has been restored. As far as you you decided, you know, you're stable. Your person had their challenges. When you're when you're with someone and they're going through something, it affects the both of you. So, you know, but now you know you you're on your own, Capricorn, and your faith has been restored. Your thing is you need someone who can be a leader, you know. And with this King of Wands, you want someone that you want to you want to know that you can count on your person, that your person is independent. You know, you want someone you know who who's optimistic and decisive about what it is that they want, they they go for it, and they feel good about themselves. They feel like they're enough. Okay, and that's what you want for your person. You just want your person to say, you know, be this person. You you know. And then, and then take action. If this is who you are, if you can be a leader, if you can be in charge, if you can be, if you can find your own independence, and you can step out within you on your own and match my effort, then take action. You know, come to me. You know, let's communicate. But it has to be somebody. You know, who's like, you know, you know, hard work pays off. That's what I'm hearing, and that's what you want for your person. You like, you know. I feel like you feel like your person has it in them and you see the potential in them, but your person didn't feel like they was enough. But you're like, no, like, you know, I want to feel safe with you. I want to feel like we can count on each other. And I'm not saying that you need this person to carry you because you don't, because again, you have this independent energy with this nine of pentacles. You take care of yourself. Like, again, you want your person. You don't need them, but you need their person to be their own leader, to have their own independence. And take action, you know? You know, you're a leader. Come in. Be brave. Be confident. Be optimistic. Show me more, please. Yeah, so, you know, you just like, you know, I'm willing to communicate with this person. But they have to release the burden. They have to work out the shit that they're carrying with them that's been burdened in our relationship with this Ten of Wands reverse, okay? If their person is capable of letting go of all the, the things that are weighing them down, weighing the connection down, you're willing to communicate with this person, okay? All right, so anyway, um, what's Capricorn's challenge here in regards to this connection? Show me with one card, please. I got the Empress Reverse, Libra Energy. It's like you feel like your person, like just being involved with this connection, your person neglects you. And they make you feel, they make you feel like when you two are together and they keep ghosting you and they keep abandoning the connection that you're not enough. So, you know, and there's a lack of growth there between you two because of that. So your challenge is to be able to come out of that energy if your person comes back around and communicate being receptive to what they have to say to live because this person definitely wants to offer you stability and wants to offer you um you know wants to come forward with the love offer they want a reunion with you but can you let go of the negative feelings that you have with this person and you may even be i feel like you may even be overbearing a little bit with your person it's a little too intense for your person and it tends to push them away so there's a need for you to pull that energy back that's going to be a challenge okay because you want to speak to your 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 um your person like you're their partner like not like you're their parent okay so show me advice please for capricorn before you before you. show me advice show me advice for capricorn please in regards to this connection What is the advice that you have for Capricorn? I got the full reverse. That's Aquarius energy. Show me more for Capricorn. Show me more for Capricorn, please. Show me more. Okay, if you want a victory with this person, which is the um six of wands here, then I got the full reverse and the hangman reverse. There's a need for you to avoid any foolishness okay when this person comes back just and don't just you know there's a need for you to be patient 
and don't be impulsive in reacting to this person if this person even tries to tr trigger you. You want to avoid the negative patterns that you, you two tend to keep having over and over again. Detach and impulsively. That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing strongly impulsively. Just detaching quick. Like, you know, you get upset with each other. There's a there's very low tolerance and someone storms off or someone shuts down. It, the spirit is saying, let go of that behavior. Let go of these habits. Let go of this energy. And then you guys will have your victory that you need when this person comes back. It is going to require patience, though, to um, persevere. Okay? So before I close out this reading, I'm going to pull some cards from your person that you are in separation from. All right? Some love oracle messages. All right? So please tell me the messages that you have for Capricorn in regards to this person they're in separation with. At this time, show me the messages. Please. Show me the messages. Okay, show me the messages for Capricorn. All right. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart desires, truly desires. Okay. So just thank God for it. You know what you want can manifest in your life. But you have to believe in it. Thoughts become things. You have to change your mindset. That's why your challenge is not sitting in these insecurities and being overbearing and, and focus on what your person did and focus on what's going to happen moving forward. All right? Secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they're letting on. So your person's quiet, but they have deeper feelings than what you think. And it's coming off as secret admirer because they're not speaking to you. So you're thinking that they're not feeling anything. They're completely disconnected. They're shut down. They're not available. They're in their head. They're trying to work this out. They're trying to work out this situation with this ex in regards to this child or children situation or coming together, co-parenting or whatever it is financially. For those of you who don't have a child or children with this person, there's some sort of financial obligation with, with someone in the past. And they're trying to come together with them and work it out because they need to, because they don't want to bring that energy back to you. They want it to be resolved. They want to come back with you in stability um, energy. Okay. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually, we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. See, they are thinking about you. They are in their head. They want you. They know that you are the right person for them. They just want to match your effort. All right? So those are the messages that I have for you, Capricorn, for this love reading um, to see what's going on with your person and their thoughts and feelings at this time. I wish you healing love. I wish you light. And I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.